one thing I promised in the previous video but didn't deliver was the uh, another UI component and that's the button component. Well, in order to give you the context of that, I'm going to go back to the index uh, HTML and preview. So you see here that when I click, uh, say, on the student's item, well, I get the student page, but it's not possible for me to actually go back from the UI to that index page. So in order to go back from a certain page, I need to add a back button. So I need to add that in the students uh, then HTML page and I need to add that uh, within this div tag which remember has a data role header. I also changed the theme uh, into B which gives that uh, iOS kind of uh, look. So uh, in order to add that uh, back button I need to use the anchor, the A tag and here I give it a, uh, some text, so back, the meaningful text. And plus I need again to add uh, the data role attributes and give it uh, the first uh, value, which is a button. Now I need to specify what happens when somebody actually clicks on that button. So for that reason, I need to use the href um, attributes and since I want to go back to my index page, so I need to add the file name, which is index.html. Now, in order also to position the button, I need to use a, another attribute, that's the class attribute, and give it the value of ui-dtn-left. So it's going to position it on the left of the screen. I'm going to save the page, go back to my index HTML and preview and see what happens. So now if I hit the students page, so I can see here on the left there's this back button. If I hit it, it goes back to my index page. Now remember that I also had an about page, so I'm just going to copy and paste that button. from the students to the about HTML page. So I need to go in the header and paste that button. So I also uh, want uh, that uh, when somebody hits that back button to go to index HTML, so that's actually correct. Now, uh, one thing that I need to change in that page is the theme. So as you can see here, I'm using the data theme B, which has this iOS kind of uh, look and feel. So I need to go to inside the div tag and add the data theme attribute and give it a value of B. And I'm going to do the same also for the footer so that my UI then looks consistent across the three pages. Now, one thing that you will observe is that here I also have the links to the jQuery libraries. Well, I do not actually need those, so I'm going to remove them since I have them on the index HTML page. So you see that here, uh, this is sufficient. Although in order to actually preview them, the, the pages, where well, you see if I go to the about HTML page and I try to preview it, well, it's not going to be a mobile friendly interface since all the libraries are included in the index HTML page. So for any preview, I would need to go back to the index HTML. So let's see what happens then with the about page. <coughs> so if I hit that link, well, you see that the theme changed into this iOS look and I also added that back button. 